Hey guys, what is up? It's me, Cruel Dark or Seth here, coming back with another video. Now today we're making a Java Skype bot. Now what you can do with this, you can impress your friends with cool Skype bot that does things for you and it's all fancy and stuff. It's pretty fun actually. So to get started, you're gonna wanna head over to Eclipse.org, which I'll leave in the description. Down the latest version of Eclipse, which I think the time of making this video is Eclipse Neon. And then I think it comes pre installed with Maven. I'm not sure though. So if it doesn't, just go to Help, Eclipse Marketplace, and then search for Maven, install it, and you're done. Anyways, let's get right into this video. So, first off, you're going to right click the Package Explorer, hit New Project. Now you'll be presented with this. None of them will be thing we like open. You just click Maven and Maven Project. Hit Next. You can just use the default workspace unless you want to change it for some reason. Just hit next again. And for this, for the group ID, I just use my domain. Because I honestly, I don't have any idea what this is for. All, it does, all I know it does is it creates the package. <laughs> so, yeah. The artifact ID, I'm just going to use YouTube bot. Which is going to be the package. So, yeah. Let's hit finish. You know, create in the background. You get a lovely thing here. Now, we're gonna go into here, delete this class if you have it, create a new one. I'm just gonna name this YouTube bot. And now, before we start anything, we have to add the Skype for J dependency into the POM. Now, to do that, just head over to the wiki, I'll leave in the description, Skype for J. You wanna scroll down until you see Maven. And then it'll say what it's for. You simply add this to your pom.xml. Just copy this, paste it underneath the dependencies thing, and you're done. You have it now. Easy as that. Now, before we even start, like anything Skype bot, we gotta set up our class. So public static void main string arg. And that's our main thing. And I just like to do this so that I don't have to make everything static because that's annoying. Let's do that and then bot dot like start will create that. So then just do a private void start in our class and that's good. Alright, so we're gonna head back over to the wiki to see how to use this. So here's an example of how to use this while logging into your Skype account. So what we're gonna do is we're going to use this to create a simple Skype bot real quick before anything. So what it says to do is we're gonna create a new Skype instance. So private Skype Skype equals new Skype builder. And then we're gonna pass in the username and a password. Dot with all resources <laughs> that build. Now, I'm going to be given some errors, highlight over, just highlight over, or hit Control shift o and import it. Now, the username and password is going to be the username and password of the Skype account you want to have the Skype uh, log into. So, I, I was skeptical about using this at first, because like, you're giving them your login, but I just made a brand new Skype account for the bot, and just you don't even need to touch it, it logs in and does everything for you. So for me, you'll just type in like your Skype bot name, which I'm pretty sure is that, the password, which we'll type later, and you're good. Next, what it says to do is you're gonna wanna log in to the Skype bot. So right here, we're gonna do skype.login, and it'll be throwing an exception. Just hits wrong with that, which, all of this does is, if the account doesn't exist, if it's invalid credentials, or if it can't connect to the Skype servers, then it'll throw an exception. Next, what we're gonna do is it wants us to register a new listener. Now, this listener is very simple. It's not that hard to do. So what you wanna do is do skype.get event dispatcher.register listener. 
We're passing new listener object. New listener. Okay, or not. <laughs> and we're gonna do. I'm pretty sure it's an event handler. Yeah. Public void on message received. Message received event event. So this this is gonna be called whenever you receive a message from someone to your Skype bot. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna print it out in console. I got a message. And we're gonna print out again. It says event that get message dot to string. And that will print out the entire message that it sent. I'm pretty sure it prints out the user who sent it as well. I could be wrong though. And now in order to get these work you have to Skype dot subscribe. And yeah. And then this logs out of the Skype bot, so yeah, it says for more information to click this wiki. Shows how to do stuff. I'm pretty sure you can just use their guest account, but I've never done that before. I don't know how that works, so yeah. I'm just not gonna do that. But yeah, there's you can just consult the wiki if you wanna do this. If you wanna look it over, you know. Anyways, so once we get a message, we want to shut it down, basically. So, if the message, we're just going to say if event that get message dot to string dot contains exit. It's probably, this is a terrible way to do this, by the way. I'm just going to log out of the Skype bot. And it's going to throw an exception. Let's do that. And that should technically work. We'll see in a second. We can just add some little debug messages here to see. Logging, logging into account. And then we're going to say subscribed. And there we go. Now I'm going to pause the video, enter my credentials into the thing. And then I will show you how it works. So I'll see you in a second. Alright, so one thing I forgot to mention that I didn't do right actually is this is not right. This is this should be event that get message that get content that as plain text message. In order for that to work. I forgot all about that, so just instead of two string just get content that as plain text. Simple. All right, so once you have all that and you have all your information entered, then what you're gonna do is just hit run and it'll run the bot. And it'll say log in to Skype account, subscribed. And once it says that, it means you're good to go. You can message your bot. So you can be like, hey, how's it going? And it'll say, I got a message. Hey, how's it going? So as you can see it works, now we can say go exit and it'll exit the bot. Now if you didn't notice, it's offline. You can't tell if it's online or not. In order to do that, just type a simple skype.set visibility, visibility.online. Which this will set the Skype bot's visibility online. And then when it's logging off, you can just skype.set visibility visibility that invisible so that people think you're offline and you will be so after that you just hit that just log in the Skype account subscribed and look the bot is online and then hit exit then it exits and it goes offline no it doesn't yes it does there you go <laughs> it takes a second to register and go offline but yeah that's all there is to it in the next video I'll be going over how to create commands with this. I'll be going over some more events you can do, how to auto add friends and all that cool jazz. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.